Hello, I am Connell Anderson. I am a junior major in psychology at UL Lafayette. Hello, I am Claire Russo. I am a senior majoring in psychology at UL Lafayette, and we are members of Dr. Bro's Cognition and Psycholinguistic Research Lab. We're here to talk about whether college students' experiences with debt influence their production of debt-related language. Research has shown that during college, approximately 30% of students are grieving the death of someone who has died within the past year. However, this is unlikely to be the first experience that a college student has with death. Researchers have found that when asked to recall the age at which they had first experience with death, young adults report being around seven to 10. When asked about the death, many report that it involved either a relative or a pet. Unlike this previous research, we were interested in exploring a range of experiences that might have an influence on college students' present attitude towards death. We collected data from 89 college students. Participants were on average 20 years old. 71% participated in our study online. 70% of our participants were female. 73% reported being religious. Participants were first presented with an informed consent and a few demographic questions. They then were asked to write an email informing a female friend, either about the death of their friend's mother in a car accident or about their friend's mother being involved in cheating that resulted in a divorce. Participants were then presented with several questionnaires. The order of the presentation was randomized across participants. We also asked them questions about their experiences with debt, at what age they first had the experience, and to which degree the experience influenced their present attitude towards debt. Common death experiences included attending a funeral, the death of a pet, and the death of a stranger. Less common experiences included the death of a mother, the death of a father, and being in a situation in which someone wants to cause you serious harm. The greatest degree of influence was associated with the deaths of a mother, father, and friend, respectively. The average age of first experience across all our experiences was 15 years of age. When looking only at participants who received the death prompt, we wanted to know whether the total number of death experiences reported would predict the types of words produced in a response to the email prompt. Using the linguistic inquiry, and word count program and looking only at participants who received the death prompt, we found evidence to suggest that the total number of death experiences did predict the use of certain types of language produced. Interestingly, we found that the average age of first death experience was higher than previous research. However, remember that we asked participants about a wide variety of experiences. When you take the minimum age reported for each experience and calculate an average, you get an average age of seven, which replicates previous research. Our two primary limitations were that the way we chose to represent that experiences in our analysis was very general. Also, our approach was too exploratory. We believe this research provides some insight into college students' experiences with debt and provides some evidence to suggest that death experiences might predict what type of language people use to talk about death. We thank you for listening and we appreciate your attention.